What's good, YouTube? What's good, people? What's going on? How is everybody doing? How everybody doing out there? I guess you guys is having a wonderful trading week, and I guess you guys are staying disciplined, consistent, persistent, positive, and optimistic, and you most of all trading your plans and sticking to your trading system and avoiding BS. This is your boy, Harlem, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a trade breakdown, but this wouldn't be mainly a trade breakdown. I just want to share the power of letting go of FOMO, trusting, okay, one, you need to let go of FOMO. Two, you need to trust your system. Three, you don't have to go against your system. And four, you don't have to feel left out, which is like FOMO. You don't have to feel left out when the market moves without you in a trade, right? Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe and share and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload new videos and every time, every time I share valuable information concerning Forex and entrepreneurship, and so far, most importantly, to use the link on the description to sign up with the broker that I use, Quick Trade. I'm not making you guys use it. I'm not begging you guys or forcing you guys to register. It's all up to you. This is just the broker that I rely on and the broker that I've been using for over three years and four years now. So without further ado, let's just hop in and continue to trust the process. So when we look at the NAS, you guys can clearly see that the structure of the NAS we are clearly in a word, in a downtrend. Price is creating lower highs and price is creating lower lows. Price is creating lower highs and price is creating lower lows. You can go check out my previous video that I dropped, I think like two days or three days ago on how to trade the NAS, like hacks, simple hacks that they won't let you know on how to simply trade the NAS. So when you simply see that the structure of the NAS, we're clearly in a downtrend. We are clearly in a downtrend. When I woke up on Thursday, yesterday, waking up on Thursday, yesterday, thank God for a new day. When I woke up on Thursday, I saw that like, okay, price broke below. Okay, we had this previous low. Before this was a low. The, before price created this, okay, this zone, before I call this zone a low, this was a higher low from price pushing, creating a higher high, exhausting, creating a higher low, price continued to the upside and looking for those new highs, right? So now I know in the back of my mind that I have a, I have a strong zone that price once reacted on and continued moving to the upside, right? So when you now look at our current price, you can clearly see that on Wednesday, we broke below based on FOMC. If you guys trade fundamentals, you get, you, you clearly know what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, right? So based on FOMC, you guys can clearly see that, okay, price broke below based on FOMC. So when I now woke up on Wednesday, on Thursday, I repeat, I clearly saw that price was still trading somewhere right here, 8 a.m., yeah, somewhere right there. Yeah, somewhere right there. And I told, and I had two anticipations in the back of my mind. You're right. I was like, if price breaks the lows, then I continue low. Or if price, or if price comes back for a retest, then I'll continue moving to the downside. Right. So those are my two takes that I had for the day. Because one, I know structure is bearish. Two, we're creating lower lows and lower highs. Three, we broke below our previous higher low, right? Oh, that intraday support, whatever that you say it is, right? Four, price is currently trading below that very same low. Are we going to continue below or are we going to break above and reverse and be bullish? I just didn't know. Until you have to be patient and until you have to wait on your setups, right? So, when now price came back, when now price pulled back, right? Because this was our London, pre-London session, bullish candlestick. When I saw this bullish candlestick, I was like, you know what? Price might come back to the very same zone. But if it comes back, are we going to break above or are we going to still trade below and look to be bearish? I don't know. This was the only, this was the other anticipations that I had because you guys know it, that Forex, it's only based on what? On anticipations, 
right? Nobody is wrong. Nobody is right. But until price does what you anticipated, then I guess you're right. And until price does the opposite, then I guess you're wrong. But without that, nobody is right. Nobody is wrong. The market going to do what it want to do all the time, right? We just have to follow it and do what it does, not the opposite of what it does, unless you're trading bullshit. So now price came back right there so when it came back this was this candlestick was, was based on news this candlestick was based on news release right so when this candlestick traded above when this candlestick continued bullish above right because you can clearly see that from 1300 and 1400 those are our pre-new york candlesticks pre-new york whatever happens on pre-new york will determine what might happen on pre-New York, unless it does the opposite. So pre-New York price came back. So when the candlestick closed above, when our candlestick closed above, 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 on the upside, up on our zone, when the candlestick closed up on our zone, all I now told myself was that if a candlestick, if price breaks out of a certain zone and breaks back again off of that certain zone, you need to wait for the retest above and look to be bullish. If price breaks below a certain zone, if price breaks below a certain zone and breaks above again, right? If price breaks, okay, let me say it like this. If price breaks out, right? If price breaks out of the certain zone and breaks again, you need to wait for price to have that retest above below and so can continue bearish, right? So, now, when the candlestick closed above, all I now waited for was that because we have a close above on our pre-New York, on our pre-New York, pre-New York, pre-New York, I was like, you know what? If the candlestick continues bullish, then I guess I'll just let price be. But if, but if it happens that price closes below this very same zone again, then I guess I'd have to continue bearish. But because I follow my plans, I trade my system, and I don't do anything outside of what I trade, I didn't take this trade, right? Because one, the candlestick closed above. Why did it have to close above? If you're looking for price to continue bearish below our higher low, our previous higher low, or our infra day support, do you guys understand that? Two, why would I want to sell if price closed above a zone I'm looking to sell below off on? Do you understand? Do you guys get that? And three, why would I want to have, or why would I let FOMO play a major role in my trading? Because um, I feel like price will react the way it has to react without me in a trade. Why? Do you guys get that? So trading depends. Trading is important, people. Trading is just important. Psychology plays a major role, right? Discipline plays a major role. Patience plays a major role. And you, your self-discovery, everything that you discover yourself as a trader also plays a major role. So you don't have to go against your trading system because you feel like price will do what you anticipate. If you're looking to sell and price continues buying, don't sell. If you're looking to buy and price continues selling, don't sell. That's just how it has to be. But many traders are just so stubborn and so eager to learn some things like this. That's why they keep on losing. Do you guys get that? So this trade was a 100% trade. If we took this trade, we were 100% clean, 240 perps, a clean one to five. But because everything that happened was against my trading plans, my trading system, and everything that aligns with me, right? The important thing that you guys also need to understand is you don't have to hurt yourself. You don't have to hurt yourself. What do I mean by saying you don't have to hurt yourself? You don't have to do anything that doesn't align with your trading. If you buy above, you don't have to buy below. If you sell below, you don't have to sell above. Do you guys get that? Do you guys get that? If you trade a 15-minute candle, if you trade the 15-minute um chart, you don't have to take trades on the 5-minute or on the hourly because you don't see a trade on the 15-minute. Just accept that the price doesn't give you what you're looking for. Do you guys understand that? So... This video is just some type of psychology video, I would say. But I did want to break down why you don't have to let FOMO, fear, greed, 
lack of discipline, lack of patience, and lack of you trading against your plans fuck you up in trading. Do you guys understand that? So you guys know it. This is your boy Harlem. This is your boy Harlem. This is your boy. Don't forget to like and subscribe because when I share valuable information, you guys also need to give me something in return. Not to say I'm begging you guys. Oh, I'm just out there sucking dick. Nah, do what you want to do. Subscribe if you want to. Like if you want to. Comment if you want to. Or just just like if you feel like it because it helps with the algorithm at the end of the day. But without further ado, that's all I got in this video. I'm out.